So that was the 2019. That was the 2019 paper one. Let's see. Okay, question number one. Number one. Write down the mathematical name for this polygon. What name did you put? I put a hexagon. And why did you say hexagon? This is a six sided shape. Correct. Hexagon, six sided. Hex. Hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Write down the order of rotation symmetry of the poly polygon. Um, I put three, but I'm not sure. Let's see, three. Rotational symmetry. So if you put a thing there to rotate it, if you put a thing there, you rotate it, this can turn come there once, two. Yes, three is correct. Question number two. Write down each of the following an odd number. I said seven. Seven, you're correct. A factor of 25. I said five. Factor of 25, you can use five. And read the next one. A prime number between 20 and 30, I put 23. Pardon? I put 23. 23, and what else could it be? Um, 27, no, no, no. 20, 20 wait. 21, 30, 30, 24, 25, 26, 27. Is it not just 23? No, between 20 and 30, let's put the numbers 20, 21, 22. Oh, a prime number, or oh, 21. No. 24. Keep going. 25, 26, 27. 28, 29. Which of those are prime numbers? And the are visible by itself on one. Is it 26? Not 26. 26 is an even number. So two is the only even prime number. There's another prime number there. It's not 26. It's not 21. 21 will divide seven. So is it 23? We got 23 already. It's the pick 29. 29. So you could pick 23 or 29. That would be correct. Now for part B, you can read part B and tell me what you got. Show that 55 is not a squared number. I said nothing by itself makes 55. Nothing multiplied by itself makes 55. Yes, you've said it in words, but how do you show it with numbers? Oh, um... Let's look at this, Phil. Six times six. 36. 36. Seven times seven. 49. 49. Eight times eight. 64. 64. So 55 is somewhere in the middle there. Mm -hmm. So 55 is in the middle of 7 squared and 8 squared. So you can find square root of 55 is a decimal, not the whole number. Okay. So 55 is not a square number. So that's how you can show it. You do seven times seven, 49, eight times eight, 64. So 55 is in the middle, it's not there. There's no other number. Okay, number three. Um, 0 0.25. Yes, 0 0.25. Um, 7%. 7%. How um, did you get 7%? Uh, I don't know. I just know it's 7% because it's 0 0.07, 0 not 0 0.7. And that means you times by 100. To change from decimal to percentage, you times by 100. 
So the last one underneath. Um, 13 over 10. 13 over 10, brilliant. But four. Can you read that and tell me your answer? Here are the first four terms of a sequence, 3, 8, 13, and 18. Write down the next term of the sequence. The next term is 23. Yeah, it's Ex 23. You add five. Yeah. Explain how you worked out your answer. Add five. Um, B. Explain why 534 is not a term in this sequence. I said it doesn't end in three or eight. Yes, that would be correct because it has to, terms in the sequence end with, it has to end with 308. There's another way to do it. We can work out the end term. Have you worked out end term before? Uh, yeah. So the end term, I use this formula, dn plus a minus d. What's the difference? Five, n plus, the first one is three minus five. So n term is five n plus, what's three minus five? Minus two. Yeah. So I know the n term is five n minus two. If I put 534, is equals to five n minus two. You take two to the other side, five, 534 plus two is 536 is equals to five N. If you do 536 divided by five, it wouldn't give you a whole number. 536 divided by five, it gives you 107.2. So it is not a whole number. So there is no N term. It is not a whole number. So there's, you cannot use that. That's one way to do it. Right, number 5A. Um, I said LNM. Yes. MNL. M N L, yeah. Yes. N M L, and N L M. They sound they sound all the same, so that would be. That's fine. And part B. Um, I said the probability is four out of seven. Four six. Four out of six combinations they sit together. Okay, number six. Um, 12x plus eight. So four times three, four times three x plus four times two. 12x plus eight. Wonderful. Uh, for the next one, I put three back bracket C um, minus two D. Yes, because six is the same as three times two. Yeah. Perfect. Number seven. Um, I put nine in the tennis box. Eleven on in the inside, but the the box around. And I think that was it. And I said there was 42 students. Yes, 42 is correct. Because I have 14, add 8, add 9, add 11. And question number 8. Um, I started off by doing 9 pound 40 times 35. Which what okay. one and one quarter is one hour fifteen. 
one and one quarter is one point. I'm not sure. Okay, tell me what you did before. Tell me what you did. Um, I, I didn't get to the one quarter bit. Okay, let me write something there first for you. Let's look at normal hours. Normal hours. How many hours? 35, right? Yeah. 35 hours. And the P. 35 times... Nine pound forty. What did you get? I got three hundred and twenty nine. Perfect. And then over time, over time hours. So we do forty two minus thirty five. It's seven hours. This thirty five is the normal time. And 42 was the total. So over time is one point one point two five times nine pound forty. Okay. One quarter is zero point two five. You happy with that? Yeah. So one and one quarter, one, that's why I got 1.2. Times 9 pound 40, it gives you 11 pound 75. 75, perfect. So the pay is 7 hours times 11 pound 75. That gives you 82 pound 25. 82 pounds 25. Now, what we want to do, we want to work out the total. Total pay. 329 plus 82 pounds 25. What does that give us? 411 pounds 25. 411 pounds 25. Fabulous. Go with Number nine, can you read number nine and tell me? Juice for seven days. Let me write that first. Juice for seven days. How do we work that out? Um. Well, I looked at how much juice was for two liters and how much it was for one liter. And I know that he drinks two-fifths of a liter of juice each day. Um, actually, I think I might have done this wrong. I tried to Mike do buys enough juice to last for seven days. Mike drinks two feet of a liter of juice each day. So if he buys two feet of seven is 14 over five. 14 over five is Put in your calculator, what's 14 over 5? 2.8 liters, which is approximately 3 liters. So you want the carton options. The carton options are the sizes that you want to buy. So 2 liter cartons, 2 liter cartons. And then three liter cartons. So you can buy what's two times four pound forty? It is um eight pound eighty. Eight pound eighty, correct. And then three times two pound sixty. Seven pound eighty. Seven pound eighty. 
So one two liter and the other one one liter of carton. So if we add four pounds forty plus two pounds sixty. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. So that will be the lowest. That will be the lowest for that one. Number 14. I said 360. 360, perfect. Uh, the next one, I said 356.1. 356.1. And, and the next one, y equals 4. y is 4. 3 to the power 4 is equals to 3 to the power y. So you equate y equals to 4. And the next one? y equals 8. y equals to 8. You add them up. 3 plus 5. five. Six to the three at five. Six to the power eight. Fantastic. You see that? Yeah. So we have speed is distance divided by time. So if we have six is equals to the distance divided by two. So the distance is six times two. 12. 12 kilometers. Now we got 90 minutes. We change 90 minutes to hours. 90 minutes is 90 divided by 60. The zeros will cancel. Divide by 3 is 3 over 2, which is one and a half hours. Or well, some people write it 1.5. Now we know speed for party. The speed for of Paddy. That's the name, put it in capital letters. Speed of Paddy is distance over time. 12 over 1.5. 12 divided by 1.5, which will give you 8 kilometers per hour. And then Anna says, can you read that for me? Um, wait, so we use the same, um, what's it called, kilometers for a paddy? Yes, the distance is the same because they are running the same distance. Oh, okay. What changes is the time. Okay, I got that. Uh, Anna says, because I stopped for drinks, my average running speed was faster than six kilometers per hour. Give one reason to support Anna's statement. So the time spent running is less. So if time is small, speed is distance over time. So when you have small time, When the time is small, the speed increases. So as the time in the denominator is in the denominator, the time is small, speed increases. So when you run very fast, you take shorter time. Yeah. Perfect. The volume of a piece of wood is 620 centimeters cubed. The density is 0 0.8 grams per cubic centimeter. Work out the mass. Density is the mass divided by volume. The way I remember it is the D is for don't. The M is for move. The V is for vera. Don't move vera. So work out the mass. If we want to get the mass, we'll take D. V to the other side. 
so mass is density times volume. The density is 0 0.85 times the volume is 620. 527. What does that give you? 527. 527. So 527 grams. Fabulous. That would be a good place to end.